What's going on, Jerome? So hopefully everyone got themselves a little nappy poo today. Mm. Uh, but something that never sleeps is the national media jabroni haircuts uh, desire to just shat on the Vikings whenever they can. And the Vikings getting off the schneid. Big time statement win against San Francisco 49ers Monday Night Football. It's fantastic. But the national media still chokes me up. Mm. Is that you, Rana? Mm. Still chokes me up is that they can't give the Vikings respect. But that's okay. That, that is okay. Let them sleep on the team that's going to go on a run and win six games in a row, weeks 8 to 14, uh, cobbling together an eight-game winning streak and getting the damn thing done. That's right. Rolling in Cincinnati. They see us rolling. They hate an LSU showdown. Bring it. Bring, bring it on, man. But uh, looking around the some of the luminaries of the National Media Jabroni haircuts and their power rankings, again, the most accurate power rankings in the known universe. Oh, I just had a Kirk moment. You like that? Uh, we'll, we'll be out tomorrow morning. Mm, we'll get to that. But uh, so Mike Florio uh, reported self-loathing a Vikings fan. That is not a thermos. Uh, he's got the Vikings up eight spots of 17. He's like, ah, okay. Uh, okay. So originally he was down on the Vikings, of course. I mean, barely beating the Bears and losing four games and three of them at home will we'll certainly do that. But the Vikings did have a tough-ass schedule. Uh, they came through it, and they're getting momentum, man. Uh, but up eight spots, you know, still behind teams like the Bucks. I, I know that the Bucks beat the Vikings, sure. The, Fal- the Falcons, really? Right. How come the Falcons went up nine spots just by barely outlasting the Buccaneers? That, that, that's, how come the Buccaneers only fall two spots? That's so stupid. Uh, the Bills get demolished, and uh, they're still up in the top 12. The Jets, hmm, okay, uh, yeah, whatever. Again, it's whatever at this point. Just let, let them sleep. But, it, again, it's amazing how much disrespect this team consistently gets. Uh, then NFL Network, I'm not reading all that, so I'm happy for you or I'm sorry that happened to you. Uh, but they got the Vikings at 20. Uh, they got them up five spots, which I, I don't know. I don't know, man. So, uh, you know, a lot of these power rankings did have the Vikings in the mid-20s beforehand. Uh, Pro Football Focus, what's interesting, they got the Vikings at 14. PFF does love the Vikings. Uh, Roster-wise, the Vikings are number eight in the league. Uh, But also, they're 48% to make the playoffs, 19% to win the division, which, even though I understand the Vikings are two games behind the Lions, doesn't seem like 50-50 right now. Mm -hmm. The roar has not been restored. Uh, And also, what's interesting is that the Vikings are there to date they've had the fourth toughest schedule in the league the rest of the way uh they have a bottom third uh as uh, 20th in terms of uh schedule so 13th easiest i'm really good at math uh but also uh what's interesting is that so kirk cousins uh, point spread rating is a three and a half so just for reference mahomes is seven and a half uh purdy's only two and a half Ooh, look 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 at that dak is a five how is dak a five How, how is dak the same point spread as lamar jackson I don't know. I don't know, man. But uh, ESPN, who consistently hate on the Vikings, uh, although they're up four spots, whatever. Uh, Young Riser, uh, so they did a Young Riser piece uh, with the rankings this week. Uh, Jordan Addison. Addison, 21, leads all NFL rookies with six touchdown receptions, tied for second in the the league uh, behind only Tyreek Hill, tied with Stephon Diggs. Uh, The 23rd pick of the 2023 draft uh, spent the season as the Vikings' number three receiver. Uh, started the season as number three receiver, quickly earned quarterback Kirk Cousins' trust, and has often been Cousins' first read following the hamstring injury to star receiver Justin Jefferson. Uh, Addison has a smooth release from the line, a scrimmage. I feel like that's code. Mm. Uh, and naturally, it moves towards open areas of the field. Jordan is the real deal, Cousins said. We hit on that draft pick. He's a great player. Mm. Big time words from uh, big time quarterback and Kirk Cousins. Bleacher report, <laughs> whatever. Uh, again, so, I might not be. It might be the lack of sleep. I'm not in the mood to read. So it, it, it it's one of those spots where have you ever looked up a recipe online and there, there's like 17 paragraphs. Like there's 2,000 words about like. Hmm. All right. So he, here here's how how to boil water and make ramen. Uh, when I, when I was a child uh, back in the old country. Da 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 da. That's ridiculous, man. Uh, that's what this is. All right. So the Vikings are 21. Last week they're 25. Uh, yeah, pr- pretty standard. A uh, pretty standard. And then CBS. I mean, Pete Prisco, I mean, a- actually gave them a little bit of a bump. So up seven spots. Uh, they're at 26. Uh, and Prisco, who's a very tall person, wrote this. Uh, they've won two straight games to write things and maybe hold off any potential fire sale. Uh, Kirk Cousins was outstanding against the 49ers. I mean, y- you know what's amazing? So if-, if you glance at some of the morning programming on ESPN and Apple Network, it wasn't about – 
the amazingness of Kirk Cousins' performance. It wasn't about the, the debut, the bust-out game uh, for Jordan Addison. It wasn't about the Vikings' amazing offensive line. It wasn't about Cam Beasy. It wasn't about Brian Flores and that opportunistic defense. It was, are the Niners frauds? How can the Niners fix things? It, can Brock Purdy rebound? Uh, I, I swear to everything that's holy, there, there was more Brock Purdy stories than Viking stories total. It's just... Uh, again, they're not even hiding it. Like, like the mask is off. Like they, the national media drone haircuts, including NFL Network, who was one thirty second owned by the Wilfs and the Vikings, just they they hate the Vikes. It, it, it's what happens, but it's okay. Uh, you don't like us, we don't care. Millwall, that's right, baby, that's right. But hey, it's okay. And you, you know what? After the Vikings beat the Packers and they beat the Falcons and they beat the Saints' ass and, and take out uh, Bounty Gate on Derek Carr and then take out Bounty Gate on Stupid Ash Sean Payton Week 11 and he also hates sushi, so just another myriad of reasons to hate Sean Payton. Also, that stupid ass movie, which I wasted an hour and a half of my life. I actually watched the stupid Kevin James movie about Sean Payton because the wife likes Taylor Lautner. Yeah. She's team. Um, which one is Jacob? Doesn't matter. Uh, oh, no, he's Jacob, right? Because Edward is the, the Batman in Twilight. Doesn't matter. Uh, then beating the Bears' ass again, beating the Raiders, rolling them bones in Vegas. I'm going to be in Vegas, man. That's going to be fantastic, by the way. And then beating the Bengals' ass, beating the Lions, beating the Packers, beating the Lions. Got got momentum, man. That's, uh, hey, uh, and, and guess what? The Vikings will win out and go 13-4 and four, wanting some more, and they'll still be at, like, 9 <laughs> in the power rankings. I, I they'll straight up be riding a 12 game winning streak head into the playoffs winning the division and they'll just be like ah i don't know 10 <laughs> it's okay it's okay man but your thoughts are thoughts vikings poo pooed uh in the national media Dr- brony haircuts power ranking shocker shocker uh let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below subscribe for daily vikings takes want to support the work put a little something in the venmo but to next time skull production value